Hey guys, I'm John from the Mishimoto Garage, and today we're here to install the Mishimoto Performance Center Cooler on our 2015 Ford Mustang EcoBoost. If you haven't done so already, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out our 2015 EcoBoost playlist. If you're looking to round out the cooling system on your Mustang EcoBoost, also check out the Mishimoto Performance Air Intake. Let's get started on the install. Tools needed for install include two and a half millimeter Allen key, T25 Torx, five and a half, seven and eight millimeter sockets, 10 millimeter deep socket, short and six inch quarter drive extension, quarter drive ratchet, and large flathead screwdriver. Install time is about two hours, and install difficulty is a three out of five. There are two different ways to do this install. You can either remove the front bumper cover or you can lift the radiator and AC condenser assembly out of the way in order to slide the intercooler out. We really recommend removing the front bumper cover because it allows a lot better access to the intercooler and all the other components. You can also disconnect the active grill shutters if you'd like. If you're gonna go ahead and lift the radiator and AC condenser assembly, you're gonna need another set of hands because the assembly is relatively heavy. Let's get started removing the front bumper. Raise the car by using a lift or jack stands. Remove the 14 7 mm bolts, six pop clips, and two 5.5 mm bolts holding the under tray in place. Remove the eight pop clips holding the plastic air diversion cover in place. Remove the bumper hardware, four pop clips, two located on each side, and six 8 mm screws, but do not fully remove the front bumper yet. Remove the two 7 mm bolts that hold the front fender to the inner fender wall. There is one bolt on either side of the bumper. These bolts are located behind the inner fender wall directly behind the headlights. You can access these from the front inner wells. Unclip the bumper from the vehicle. Once the bumper is loose, unclip the six wire harnesses to the turn signals, headlights, and fog lights. The front bumper cover may now be fully removed. You may need an assistant. Remove the two pop clips and four eight mm bolts holding the air dam in place. Separate the clip to free the air shutter arm. You can use your fingers to pinch the clip. Disconnect the wire harness for the air shutter motor. Remove the two tree clips for the ambient temperature sensor. You can set the sensor off to the side. Remove the four eight mm bolts that hold the brace to your Mustang. Now, on the passenger side of the intercooler, remove the one 10 mm bolt. On the driver's side, remove the electrical clip from the map sensor and set that aside. Next, loosen the worm gear clamp on the cold side pipe connecting to the intercooler. You could use either a 7mm socket, 7mm ratchet wrench, or a flathead screwdriver. Head over to the hot side and loosen the worm gear clamp connecting the pipe to the intercooler. Now detach the cold side pipe from the intercooler. Remove the plastic cover from the side of your intercooler. Next, head to your Mustang's engine bay and remove your radiator stays. There are four 10 mm bolts holding them in place. Two bolts for each radiator stay. Lift up the radiator assembly to help make room in the engine bay. On the cold side of the intercooler, pull on the lower tab and rotate the bottom of the intercooler forward. Lift the intercooler hangers up while pulling forward towards the front of your Mustang. Once lifted out of the radiator mounts, let it sit. At the same time, remove the hot side coupler while wiggling the intercooler forward. Once the stock intercooler is removed from your Mustang, remove the map sensor using a T25 Torx socket. Transfer the map sensor to your new Mishimoto intercooler. It may help to apply a small amount of lubricant to the sensor o-ring before installing. An additional o-ring is included in case the stock one rips or tears. Using the supplied Mishimoto 10mm bolt, attach the sensor to the new intercooler. Now, lift the intercooler up and into your Mustang. It is easiest to insert one side in first and then work in the other side. While installing your intercooler on the hanger mounts, be sure to line up your hot side pipe with the new Mishimoto intercooler. Once everything is in place, move over to your passenger side and tighten down your intercooler using one 10 millimeter bolt. On the driver's side of your Mustang, use the supplied set screw and twist it into place using a 2.5 mm Allen key. Tighten down the worm gear clamp on your hot side pipe using the 7 mm socket, 7 mm ratchet wrench, or flathead screwdriver. Now, on the cold side, 
Tighten down that worm gear clamp as well. Use the same 7mm socket, 7mm ratchet wrench, or flathead screwdriver. You also want to make sure that that coupler is fully seated all the way on the intercooler. Now, make sure that the AC condenser is clipped back into place if you adjusted it earlier. Now, you can reinstall your radiator stays back onto your Mustang. Use the four 10mm bolts you removed earlier, with two bolts for each radiator stay. Go ahead and plug the map sensor clip back in. Put back into place the plastic cover that went on the side of your intercooler. Go ahead and install the four 8mm bolts that were holding the brace. Reattach the air dam to the front of the vehicle using the two pop clips and four 8mm bolts. Make sure to route the air shutter arm around the front crash beam. The air shutter arm will reattach to the clip on the front air dam. Reattach the ambient temperature sensor. Place the front bumper in front of the vehicle. Reconnect the six wire harnesses to the turn signals, headlights, and fog lights. Reinstall the front bumper. Make sure the bumper clips into the slots by the headlight housings. Using the bolts you removed earlier, reattach the front bumper to the inner fender wall using the two 7mm bolts. These bolts get tightened behind the inner fender wall directly behind the headlights. You can assemble them from inside the front inner wells. Check for any pinched wires or plastic trim before fastening the four pop clips and six 8mm screws. Reattach the plastic air diversion cover using the eight pop clips. Reattach the under tray using the 14 7mm bolts, 6 pop clips, and 2 5.5mm bolts. Raise the car by using a lift or jack stands. Remove the 14 7mm bolts, 6 pop clips, and 2 5.5mm bolts holding the under tray in place. Remove the 8 pop clips holding the plastic air diversion cover in place. Using a flathead screwdriver, loosen the worm gear clamp connecting the intake box to the rubber intake boot. Remove the intake boot from the air box. Disconnect the plug from the air intake temperature sensor. Remove the tree clip holding the wire harness on the side of the air box. You can either pull it out by hand or use pliers. Remove the one 10 millimeter bolt holding the air box to the inner wheel well. You can remove the entire airbox assembly by pulling it towards the rear of your Mustang, then upward. Using channel lock pliers, remove the spring clip from the bypass valve hose. Next, remove the bypass valve hose from the intake pipe. Remove the quick disconnect fitting from the hose next to the bypass valve. Pull outward on the plastic tab before pulling on the connector itself. Using your flathead screwdriver, loosen the worm gear clamp connecting the intake tube to the turbo inlet. Remove the intake tube assembly by pulling towards the front of your Mustang, and then slightly twisting the assembly to clear the side of the engine. We have the Mishimoto Performance Air Intake installed on this Mustang EcoBoost. If you have the air intake on, all you need to do is remove the air box lid in the intake pipe. Loosen the three 4mm Allen bolts on the top of the air box. Using a flathead screwdriver, Loosen the worm gear clamp on the silicone inlet hose that connects to the intake pipe. Remove the one 10 millimeter nut that holds the intake pipe to the frame of your Mustang. Be careful not to lose the rubber bushing. Now, you can remove the entire intake pipe from the engine bay. Next, remove the expansion tank from your radiator. We currently have the Mishimoto expansion tank installed, but if you are running the stock expansion tank, you'll need to remove the two 10 millimeter bolts. This is to help give yourself ample room for moving everything around. There's no need to remove the coolant lines or the coolant from the tank. Simply remove the tank from the radiator and zip tie it out of the way. Next, head to your Mustang's engine bay and remove your radiator stays. There are four 10 millimeter bolts holding them in place. Two bolts for each radiator stay. Remove the six eight millimeter bolts holding the brace near the intercooler. The two inner bolts are part of the active grill shutter system. Now, on the passenger side of the intercooler, remove the one 10 millimeter bolt. On the driver's side, remove the electrical clip from the map sensor and set that aside. Next, loosen the worm gear clamp on the cold side pipe connecting to the intercooler. You could use either a seven millimeter socket, seven millimeter ratchet wrench, or a flathead screwdriver. 
Head over to the hot side and loosen the worm gear clamp connecting the pipe to the intercooler. Now detach the cold side pipe from the intercooler. Remove the plastic cover from the side of your intercooler. Now go ahead and lower your Mustang so you can work in your engine bay. Now lift your radiator assembly up and off its pegs so the entire unit will move easier when you're under your EcoBoost. Go ahead and raise your Mustang back up. Now you can remove your stock intercooler from your EcoBoost. Rotate the intercooler cold side upward and lower the hot side. The intercooler can then be lowered from the car at an angle. You may need a friend to help hold the radiator assembly up and out of the way during this process. Remove the map sensor using a T25 Torx socket. Transfer the map sensor to your new Mishimoto intercooler. It may help to apply a small amount of lubricant to the sensor o-ring before installing. An additional o-ring is included in case the stock one rips or tears. Using the supplied Mishimoto 10mm bolt, attach the sensor to the new intercooler. Now you can install your Mishimoto intercooler. You want to have a friend or an assistant there to lend a hand. Reinstall the intercooler in the same orientation it was in when removed. The radiator assembly should be lifted upward and forward to make room for the intercooler. Reseat the radiator to its stock location, making sure the lower posts are in the rubber bushings. Once the intercooler is oriented correctly, install the top of the intercooler onto the radiator mounts by rotating the bottom slightly forward. Go ahead and plug the map sensor clip back in. Reattach your cold side coupler to your intercooler, but don't tighten it yet. Tighten down the worm gear clamp on your hot side pipe using the 7mm socket, 7mm ratchet wrench, or flathead screwdriver. Now, on the cold side, tighten down that worm gear clamp as well. Use the same 7mm socket, 7mm ratchet wrench, or flathead screwdriver. You also want to make sure that that coupler is fully seated all the way on the intercooler. Once everything is in place, Move over to your passenger side and tighten down your intercooler using one 10 millimeter bolt. On the driver's side of your Mustang, use the supplied set screw and twist it into place using a two and a half millimeter Allen key. Now head to your engine bay and seat your AC condenser back into its clips. This may take a moment, but be sure to get it back into the clips. Now, you can reinstall your radiator stays back onto your Mustang. Use the four 10mm bolts you removed earlier, with two bolts for each radiator stay. Reinstall your expansion tank back onto the radiator using the two 10mm bolts you removed earlier. Reinstall the air intake back into your Mustang. Make sure that the rubber bushing is still on the intake. To reinstall the airbox, first install the air filter into the airbox. Make sure that the rubber bushing and the bolt seat back into the hole. Reinstall the one 10 mm nut to the bushing. Tighten the three 4 mm Allen bolts on the lid. Then, using a flathead screwdriver, tighten the worm gear clamp that connects the silicone inlet hose to the air intake. Install the six 8 mm bolts that were holding the brace. The two inner bolts are part of the air dam. Reattach the plastic air diversion cover using the eight pop clips. Reattach the under tray using the 14 seven millimeter bolts, six pop clips, and two five and a half millimeter bolts. Now that you've installed your new Mishimoto Performance Intercooler, double check to make sure that all your connections are tight and take your Mustang for a test drive. Also, don't forget to click subscribe.